Bill Gates is a communist? I don't think that's, that's true. This episode of Boing Boing is made possible by WePC.com. Hi, I'm Jenny. This is Joel. And this is Rob. We're here at CES representing for Boing Boing. It's a brand new day. Joel, what are we going to do? We are going to go to press conferences where executives will tell us how awesome their companies are doing. And Rob, what are you excited about? I'm excited about Showstoppers this evening, where we're going to get hands-on tests of some of the best gadgets of CES 2009. <laughs> that was very heartfelt. Let's get cracking. Everyone thinks that CES stands for Consumer Electronics Show. It actually stands for Child Excellent Safety. This sign points out how inappropriate it is to bash infants in the head with suitcases. This is Rob Biskitzer with Boing Boing at CES, and we're at Sony's press conference. And the VIOP has just been announced. This compact computer is about the size of a business envelope and weighs only 1.4 pounds. This is Michael Barry with... With Sony Electronics, I'm with the Vio Marketing Group. This is the, the VIOP here, and this is most definitely not a netbook. What can you tell me about the VIOP? Well, uh, a few things. First of all, uh, we're calling it a lifestyle PC. The size and weight of it is quite a bit different than anything else that's out there. It has built-in embedded wireless uh, WAN or cellular capability in 100% of all the units. Uh, we're utilizing Verizon's 3G mobile broad broadband service with that, which is optional. Uh, it also has built-in GPS, uh, built-in Bluetooth, uh, and Wi-Fi. It reminds me of the picture books from about five or ten, five or six years ago, which uh, I was a big fan of those, and they kind of went away for a long time. Uh, so, what, what's tech changed technologically that kind of made that that idea of the ultra tiny PC better? It is a fan, completely fanless design. So um, it runs very, very cool, and the fanless design allowed us to make it super, super thin. We actually uh, used. Intel's Z520 processor to enable us to, to, to allow that technology. The standard battery is approximately four hours. It, we do have a double capacity six cell battery option that'll give it approximately eight hours of battery life. So that's a full day of work? That is a full day of work, yes. Fantastic, thank you very much. Thank you, Rob. The VIOP, I want. The internet culture we're all part of wouldn't be possible without the evolution of personal computers. Asus and Intel want to hear your ideas for what's next. Come join us in making the world's first community-designed laptop at WePC.com. What kind of phone is your phone? This is a Moto F3. It has a kind of a cult phone. Motorola fanboy. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you calling a boy? <laughs> That's actually a cool phone, it just sucks. Yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> no, it's true, like it has an e-paper display and it's really yeah. cheap and like it should be awesome, e but it's just not. Or e-ink, yeah. Well, e-paper, e-ink, it's the same difference, more or less. Yeah, and that's the thing, but it sucks. Just so many bad design decisions. Yeah. So uh, this is Joel from Boing Boing, and uh, we're standing outside the line for the Steve Ballmer keynote, uh, which is a, a big thing. So we're going to go ask some people in line what they think this big surprise of the keynote will be, because there's always one big surprise, and we want to see what people think it is. So when they find out, we'll see how wrong they were. Uh, so yeah, here we go. I like these guys. They seem excited. Hi, guys. How's it going? What do you think uh, Balmer's uh, big uh, announcement is going to be? Like, what's his big surprise uh, announcement going to be? Windows 7 release date. Windows 7 release date. Bill Gates is a communist? I don't think that's, that's true. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm sure, pretty sure we got that one locked down. We're going to see Windows 7, and we're going to see some sort of new hardware, and, and they'll talk about Direct, DirectX 11 probably, and that's it, I think. That's, that's not a lot of hope. I want hope. Big dreams from you. You're wearing a bunny suit today. What? Me? No, I'm not wearing a bunny suit. <laughs> Where did you hear that? <laughs> I told everybody that you guys were going to be wearing um, fursuits and that you'd look like puppies. Oh, yeah, and somebody some, asked some me guy, about that. Uh, it was because I was um, insulting you. 
And this, oh. this guy just Twittered Will Smith, who was just interviewed by Joel from Born One, who was not wearing the furry suit that, that Jenny Jardin promised. Mainstream <laughs> media lies. <laughs> what would Balmer's big reveal for the keynote be? What do you think? I don't think he has anything, honestly. I, I, I'm just here because I have to be here, but I don't think he has a thing, honestly. So nothing? No, maybe it's maybe Jerry so Seinfeld, actually. That would be a highlight. If, it if would Seinfeld kinda, shows up? Wouldn't that be? That like, would be like, something. It would tie in with your uh, pointless advertising. Right. You look like a man with, with ideas. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I don't know anything. I just want to, I want to see him sing and dance and sweat. Well, supposedly it's supposed to be the Zune phone. Yes, this is what I've been trying to get people to, to back me on. That's what I think it is going to be, too. Cloud computing. Anything he's going to say, it's going to, like, blow my mind. All right. It's going to be, like, you know. Crazy. Yeah. So. Oh, that's your mom? Yeah. All right, can, can I say hi? <laughs> okay. <laughs> she's she's doing fine. She's really okay. Know, she's not doing anything bad, I promise. No, she's... A, Okay, that's all I just wanted to want to know. She'll be she'll be fine. It's just Las Vegas. It's not the craziest town in America. Rob, Joel, we accomplished a lot today. Tomorrow, what's up? Tomorrow is walking the show floor proper. So we're going to go to around all the booths and actually play with a lot of stuff hands-on, which is actually the most fun part because press conferences aren't that much fun. No booth babe left behind. <laughs> We're going to get lots of rest tonight and not go to any parties, right, Rob? None at all. No, not fun. We won't enjoy parties that we go to. Fun will be not had. So we'll see you well-rested tomorrow. Right.